Hello and welcome to Tutorial 8, Editing, Mixing and Finalising Your Song in GarageBand on the iMac. I'm Little Murphy and I'll be taking you through this Part 1 series of Tutorial 8 on how to finalise your song within the iMac version of GarageBand. So the first thing that I've done here on the screen is created a master track so I can add in settings that I can apply to all of the tracks above using my master track. So think of the master track as a track that controls all of the other tracks that you have created. And usually what I do when I'm finalizing my tracks is just to check each individual track and see if the settings, um, if I've panned them correctly, if the levels on each one is correct, are the notes all correct. So double checking all of your tracks prior to actually finalizing it. I also check the end part of this as well to make sure there's no silence at the end of your track when you export it. So with this melody that I'm using at the moment, the saxophone melody, if it's slightly loud or too soft, I can move it up. But the master track I have to check as well um, and make sure that it's not peaking. So I'll have a listen to this. And notice that the master track is slightly going into the red there. So I just need to adjust it so it's still going into the yellow. And make sure that it doesn't go into the red. If it goes into the red on the master track, it means that there may be some distortion there. Distortion is not good to have in your final export of your track if it's an MP3 or a WAV file, as you may have unnecessary crackle when your master volume or individual tracks are just too loud. Usually you can hear unwanted distortion when you have exported your tracks as an mp3 or a WAV file. To minimise distortion, turn down your individual tracks or the master volume track so the track levels don't go into the red. So if the fader goes into the red, it's really bad. A good level is when the master track is more in the yellow than the green. So if it's in the green too much, it'll be too soft when you export it. A way of adjusting effects on your master track is quite easy. On the left hand side when you've selected your master track you can select settings that can automatically come up. So we'll have a quick listen to some of these different settings. So full classical, uh, you can have hip hop, old vinyl. You can see the changes in the settings on the EQ screen. So when you select these different um, particular settings it will change all of the tracks in one go so it adds this particular effect to all of the tracks that you have on the screen. The final step in sharing your song is pretty easy. You just go up to share then export song to disk and you can select where you would like to export your song to. So usually I export it to my documents have it on mp3 and medium quality. So we'll just rename this export. So final song example tutorial 8 and we'll put just GB tutorial on there before we export it. Okay and it's a matter of just clicking export. And you'll see a screen that comes up saying bouncing so what it's doing is putting all of those tracks into one mp3 file. If you'd like to see more information on how to finalize your song on the iPad version of GarageBand please see part 2 of tutorial 8.